How's it going, guys? So, there's a fight coming up in September that intrigues me in the heavyweight division. And uh, a lot of you guys are probably going to think that this fight's a mismatch. But I have to say, it's a very dangerous fight. And it's between Robert Hellenius, former European champion, and he's fighting Konstantin Eric. Now, Konstantin Eric, it has to be said, he is a journeyman. Uh, he, he has got multiple losses. Um, many losses by knockout too. I mean, he's he's been stopped in the first round a couple of times. You know, he's a he's pretty much a guy who he takes fights on short notice, and he usually loses when he's in with anyone good. But even so, and I think that this is a pretty dangerous fight for Hellenius. I have to say because the thing about Konstantin Eric. Even though he's a, a journeyman, even though he's a guy who is very limited technically, even though he's not a very good athlete, one thing you can say about the guy is he has a heck of a right hand. I mean, if he lands that overhand right on your chin, let's just say he'll stagger you. I mean, he's a very, very heavy-handed guy. He just seems to have that natural punching power about him where, you know, if he lands the right punch at any moment, he can really do damage. I mean, uh... He, if you have a look at the Danny Williams fight, for example, you know, th this is back when Danny Williams was still, you know, still had something going for him. You know, he was still tough and he was still pretty durable back then. And, you know, Konstantin Eric, he had Danny Williams out on his feet a couple of times and it was from very, very solid right hands. And uh, Danny Williams actually said, I believe, after that fight, he said something like, uh, Konstantin Eric, his punching power was up there with Mike Tyson and Vitaly Klitschko. So, obviously, the dude fucking hits hard. He does. He, he, he's a very, very heavy-handed guy. He just doesn't have the the boxing skill or the athleticism to really... Or the talent, really, to really land those punches significantly. You know, to land them consistently in fights. And uh, that's really been his problem. And that's why he's never really been able to excel. And why he's ultimately become a journeyman, basically. But the thing, the thing that intrigues me about this fight is that Robert Hellenius is coming off a devastating knockout defeat against Johan Duharpas, where he really, really didn't look good. I mean, he looked gassed, he looked shook, he looked, uh, I don't know, to, to me, Robert Hellenius looked completely, there, there was a very disturbing look about him. He, look, he looked as if he was shocked by by just the punching power. I mean, getting hit that hard, you know, he, he'd never really been in with anybody that was a really devastating puncher before. I mean, Robert Hellenius, you know, he, he fought Derek Chisora, but Derek Chisora, you know, he's a good pressure fighter, but he's not really a knockout puncher. You know, Derek Chisora is not a very heavy-handed guy. Uh, and I mean, you know, you look at other guys Hellenius had fought, people like Michael Sprott and, uh, what was the other guy? Um, Sherman Williams. Um, who was the... Sherman Williams actually hurt him pretty badly in the fifth round, but who else was it he fought? There was uh, Franz Real. You know, th these are guys that are not really known as very heavy-handed guys, you know, they're, they're, they're heavyweights, and obviously they've got more power than most, but, you know, they're, they're not really knockout artists, they're not really heavy-handed punchers, but Konstantin Eric, even though Konstantin Eric is a journeyman, if he lands that right hand, you know, he can really, he can really stagger you, so, in this fight, Robert Hellenius coming off this knockout defeat, and then trying to rebuild, he's gonna have to be careful here, because I'm telling you guys, if, if he gets hit with a right hand, you know, he, he could start having flashbacks to his last fight. You know, you, you never know how good a fight is going to be after being knocked out. Because as they say, you're only as good as your last fight. So, yeah, th this heavyweight fight intrigues me. I'm definitely not going to miss it. Um, you know, I, I think if I was to make a pick, obviously I'm, I'd pick Robert Hellenius to win. Because he's uh, a lot fresher at this stage. He's uh, the bigger man. Uh, he hits a lot harder. But, you know, as I'm saying, he's in there with a guy who has a puncher's chance. Because this dude... Um, Eric, he, like I said, he's a journeyman, but he has that overhand right, and I can just picture it, I can just picture him landing that overhand right, like, if he's able to land it somewhere in the first four rounds, we just don't know how Robert Hellenius is going to react, okay, we don't know how he's going to be, how he's going to recover, and, and another thing that, that's intriguing about this is, Robert Hellenius is a guy who... He tends to slack off in training, and when I say slack off in training, I'm talking about this dude... He has admitted that he sometimes eats a full animal before a weigh-in for a fight. I mean, I, I mean after a weigh-in for a fight. And, I, you know, he's at heavyweight, so it doesn't really matter. But I, I remember seeing an interview where he's talking about he goes for the weigh-in and then he goes to eat a full animal or so. I mean, for fuck's sake, you shouldn't do that before a fight. I don't care if you're a heavyweight, man. I mean, and, and in his last fight, 
and the fight before that too. I believe he was a, a career high heavy, and he, he's he, you know he just always has that little fleshy pot belly, and he's just never and he's never in shape. That's why that's another thing that intrigues me about this fight is that this dude is is just a terrible athlete. Okay, he's never in shape. I mean, if you think that Tyson Fury is a guy that's lazy when it comes to training. He's got nothing on Robert Hellenius, okay? Robert Hellenius is a guy that always slacks off. And another thing that intrigues me about this fight, honestly, I, you know, th this fight is way more interesting than advertised. Another thing that intrigues me is the fact that Robert Hellenius has had numerous injuries in his career. He's had a shoulder injury. Uh, he has badly, badly broken his right hand. And, and I've seen photos of it and it was horrible. I'll, I'll see if I can find the photos. I might even put a link to them, but... I actually have a video on my channel, I think, of, of some photos of his injuries. But yeah, you know, he's had all sorts of injuries in his career, all sorts of surgery, uh, all sorts of layoffs. And, and the guy, he's never going to be, uh, he's never going to be a top level heavyweight, okay? He's never going to be in shape. He's never really going to be at his full potential because of those injuries. And that's why this fight intrigues me, because it's like, it's one of those fights that could surprise a lot of people. Uh, so yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, you have to favor Hellenius, you have to make him the favorite in the fight, but I'm just telling you guys, don't don't be surprised if he gets hurt in this fight, don't be surprised if he takes a right hand and then ends up getting stopped, I would not be surprised if it happens, but yeah, you know, so let me know what you guys think, I, I'm going with Hellenius to win the fight, probably by a late stoppage, but he, he, those first two, three, four rounds, I'm telling you guys, are going to be very dangerous. It's going to be very dangerous. So let me know what you guys think. Um, thanks for watching. I'm out.